The reduction of the data collector file is handled under the survey menu or the survey reductions flyout toolbar. The survey data is either downloaded from an instrument or copied into the computer via a memory storage device. To look at a 12D data collector definition, we're just going to use the option Project Tree. And if we go and select Survey Data Collectors, you'll see there's a number of data collectors predefined here. If we double click on Create Data Collector, you can actually see a list again of the data collectors by clicking on the arrow down button. And if we select one to have a look at, you'll see there's a series of tabs relating to how the actual data collector can be set up. So the data collector defined within 12D model includes information such as the instrument name, extension for the raw file, the position of the field code. So for field coding, if we select the field coding tab, it can be before the feature code, no string number, or after the feature code. It can use a series of delimiters for commands, comments, offset codes, backsight, foresights, check measurements, and so on. We can also use some feature code templates and also additional codes for things such as shapes and under the strings tab for options such as closing strings, forming rectangles and starting and finishing arcs. These options can be edited and a new name created. Once the new name is created we can simply select set. It could then be rewritten away to either the local folder or to an other folder accessible by other users. OK, we'll just select finish to exit this option. We'll also select finish on the project tree. So we're now going to select the survey data reduction type. So this is either selected under survey setup or using the survey reductions toolbar and selecting the option data collector setup. Here we use the arrow down button to select our data collector. We're going to be using a format called Sokia Feature String. So the string number will be after the feature code. We then select set and finish. If we were to have the data collector connected to 12D, we could download using the option survey download raw or again using the survey reductions menu we could use the option download. Here we could use the parameters set up in the data collector setup file. It would then download the file and then create a field file. In our example we already have a raw data collector file saved so we skip this step and we go to the next step to convert a raw file. So this is done either under Survey, Convert Raw, or again using the Survey Reductions toolbar, Convert Raw to Field. We select the folder icon for the raw file. You can see here that it's already using looking for an extension .sdr, and that was from the setup we did. So we select Browse. And we arrow back up to the getting started folder and we'll see a file here called survey.sdr. So we can either double click on the file or click once and select open. When we do that it will automatically create a name for the field file which is just basically the file name with the extension .fld. We then click convert and it's always a good idea to just go to the output window and just ensure there are no errors. We can then select finish.